What's going on, y'all? So, I've been getting like a lot of subscribers in the past, I don't know, say a month, a month and a half, maybe even two months now at this point. And I'm like, damn, I ain't really been posting like that. So this just lets me know that some of y'all are just starting to come across my shit now. And it's like, hey, yo, bro, this dude got some fire. Appreciate y'all. Welcome to Newcomers. It's been a while. Today, I am going to be giving you all some, like, some really good, useful information, man. Some, some, some stuff that's really going to help you out. out. Actually, get y'all some more bread in your pocket. Also, comment down below right now how the audio sound. We are using the Rode Wireless Go 2. Like, I've used this on a wedding so far, and I loved it, but I've been using it, like, in a YouTube app, uh, YouTube space or whatever, quote, unquote. So, I'm going to give you all five tips or five outlets on how to find jobs as a videographer. I know sometimes it's pretty hard, and especially if you're just starting out. We really don't have, like, a very clear-cut way other than going on Instagram and begging people to shoot their videos and stuff for free. I actually got some ways of actually making some lucrative money because so far, as far as wedding season for me, working for like other companies being contracted work, I've been doing very well with the weddings that I've been getting. So here we go. Number one, first thing I would recommend that you do is go on website, websites like the, uh, like the Wedding Wire or The Knot, uh, stuff, places like that, and then look at who is the top company in your local state or area, right, who's like banging our weddings. Nine times out of 10, if they cooking like that, they need other videographers. And in most situations, you know what I'm saying, you can kind of like negotiate your rate. So for like on an average wedding where I'm just shooting, I'm not I'm not editing anything. And in most cases, they, they only want you to shoot at 1080p, 60 frames per second. So it's not like you even gotta have like an A7S3 or anything like that. All you need is a camera that shoots 1080p, 60 frames per second, literally, like unlimited. Um, to be real, you do sometimes need two bodies, but at the very least, have a camera that shoots 1080p, 60. And I'm averaging, like per wedding I shoot, I average between $600 to $1,000 per wedding, eight hours, and I also get tips. I mean, like the biggest tip that I got was like $400 before. And so you can still like come out even on that day with a tip, plus the wedding you just shot and making some good bread. Now I will be real with you. In most situations, a lot of these companies that I work for are on a net 30. So meaning that you get paid like 30 days after you like shoot the wedding. Uh, that's pretty common, but nonetheless, if let's just say if you had a crack in June, you already know whatever bills you got in July, pretty much taken care of, you just go ahead and just continue that cycle. So look for companies that shoot weddings and see if they need any videographers. First one, at the gate, you should have hit the like button already and subscribe because I know you didn't think about that. And I know that's a really useful tip to actually bring, like, bring y'all some real bread. Number two, learn to sell yourself and not the service. And what I mean by that is like, listen, videographers come like a dime a dozen, bro. Like, so you're not the only person out there who cold with the camera, uh, who got the best camera. Like there's a lot of people out there that do what you do and hell, do, probably do it better. But at the end of the day, something I did learn from working in corporate America is this. People, go, they, they want to work with who they like. So it doesn't matter if uh, your boy John is so cold with the camera, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, where he's like, man, his videos always do crazy numbers, da, da, da. But if a company or a person don't like him because he got a crappy attitude, his customer service is terrible, they still not going to want to work with him. You know what I'm saying? People want to work with who they like. So if I'm sitting here talking to you, we chopping up, let's just say my videos don't have all the flash and thrills, but you just so you know what I'm saying, enamored or just so cool and we click and our chemistry is great, you more than likely gonna hire me for that job because you just wanna be, like, be around me. Learn to sell yourself and not the service, man. Sometimes it's not, your skill level is not what gets you the job. Sometimes, believe it or not, it's just you. Also, shout out to my boy David Griffin, y'all. Like, he be dropping short films. He just dropped another one not too long ago. I did check it out, brother. My bad for not responding to you like right then and there. But uh, yeah, bro, like you you do you do great film work, man. Like as far as short films, I'm actually inspired to shoot more short films myself. So appreciate you. Moving on. If you really want to start kind of bringing in the big bucks and actually make some good money, man, uh, and kind of like start working with corporation, not necessarily people, keep in mind, man, you will, businesses pay way more than people. What I mean by that is, like, say if you, you know what I'm saying, shooting for like your homeboy music video, whatever the case is, you're probably gonna bring home like between $300 to $500. Versus if you're doing like a little corporate interview for like a business, you can charge anywhere between $2,000 to $5,000 out the gate. You know what I mean? And they're gonna pay that, no questions asked. Um, go to LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a prime spot to find jobs like this. Um, even like if you're trying to be like a creative director, even if you look into it, like you don't even do freelance, but you wanna do like more of a, a corporate thing, go to LinkedIn. Instagram is not what it used to be no more, okay? So I know people always just go Instagram, 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 but Instagram is not the only place that's gonna bring you bread, bro. Like learn to diversify, like how are you marketing yourself and how you're finding jobs. Like, if you just stick to one platform, whether it's YouTube or Instagram in the case is, you're like, bro, like, how many companies you know on YouTube actually like looking for a video to like come shoot their corporate client videos? Like they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like learn to branch out a little bit more and like learn ways to look for money. 
okay? That's another like a little bonus to learn where to look for money. Number four, get down to the last one. Again, if you have not hit the like button or subscribe, I mean, I felt like I've already given you three like fire gems already. You should have, you should have been there already, but nonetheless. Number four, learn how to pay for your promotion. Be like, so, Yes, like a lot of people got this common misconception like, yo, you, when you drop a video that's so cold so far, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into it, like that video is gonna take off and you're just waiting for the right person to see your video and then for you just to go ahead and skyrocket into this whole videographer heaven where you just start getting jobs and money like out of like out of the, like nowhere. Listen to me, it don't really happen like that. Even with me being a DP for the Obama Foundation, it's not like I'm sitting here just, I mean, well, listen, I am cooking, all right? But it has nothing to do with that. Like with me, cooking has everything to do with how I hustle and like how I find work and how I sell myself. You feel what I'm saying? And also paying for promotion. Like, again, if video is king, distribution is queen. You feel what I'm saying? So like, if your work is so fiery, but nobody's seeing it, it doesn't matter how fire that work is, nobody can see it. So learn how to like, learn how to pay for promotions, learn how to look up for your target audience, learn when you also create these ads and make sure that you're targeting the correct audience so that you're gonna get more of a, a better conversion rate. Don't just sit there, go on Instagram, pick a whole bunch of random stuff that you think will work. Like, no, learn to do some A-B testing. Learn that, okay, well, if I sit here and spend $20 this week and I only got five people looking at my profile business here, but I spent like $10 and got 10 people looking at my profile business here, okay, what did I do? What did I change? What keywords, you know what I'm saying, brought me to better results? Yo, for real? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in my bag right now, for real, for real. Last one, and I'm out. All right, number five, push for contracts, not single jobs. And the reason I say this is because as a, with a contract, you are more likely to sit there and bad that client for a longer period of time. Three months, six months, 12 months, whatever the case is, I actually have bundles like that. Learn to push for your clients to just sit, like not to get one video. The problem is, again, even with clients, we had this, they had the same misconception too. They think they get one video, it's so fire that they can sit there and just like, I don't need this one video, I don't need nothing else. And then they don't, they don't market it, they don't push it. Like, like video ads and social media ads and stuff like that, yo, it's the same thing like sitting there, like going to the dentist. You cannot go to the dentist one time without never getting your teeth clean and expecting for your teeth to just be like just the best and it's a, like the best they could be off this one visit. No, it's the same thing with social media videos and stuff like that. The like, client has to understand that they need to have more than one video, right? They need more than one cleaning. And you also gotta push their video and their brand. So with that, if you sitting there locking this client into a contract for like three months, instead of you sitting there sending that one video for 1500, now you're gonna sell three videos for like 2,500. And now you got that, that money spread it out a little bit. So now you can sit there and be like, all right, for June, I got my rent and my car note cover. Uh, for June, July, and August, I got my rent and my car note cover. So now I've gotta sit there and try to hustle for like, you know what I'm saying, September and October. Bro, listen, I'm telling y'all, man, like to survive in this game, you gotta stop thinking so boxed in with just trying to make a hot video and put it on social media. That's not how that work. Learn to diversify your portfolio, learn how to sell contracts, learn how to sell yourself, and learn how to look for money. Other than that, yo, be we out. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's it. I'm about to go take care of this and uh, catch you on the next one. Deuces.